Whether you want to look at it as the end of a beautiful weekend or the start of a beautiful week, you're in good luck. It's not really feeling like September out there. Let's hop on out, take a live look across the region where it's looking beautiful. Temperatures still waiting on those to catch up. We're uh, sitting pretty chilly this morning, waiting on that Florence camera. But across the board, uh, we are not all that warm. Low 40s in Eugene, mid 40s out on the coast and Corvallis. A little warmer down there in Roseburg. But Let's take a look at Coos Bay where we aren't really seeing all that much over the coast in the way of cloud coverage. It is a pretty beautiful morning out there and it's going to be a sunny day. As for Roseburg, we were seeing some clouds off in the distance. Now that's going to be the story for the better part of the day down there. And in some parts of the Willamette Valley, it's going to start out cloudy, but that's going to burn off as we progress through your Sunday. And sunshine is what we're tracking in the back half of the day. So. Temperatures sitting in the lower ends of the 50s as we're around 8 a.m., but those little bit of clouds that you see are expected to burn off as we approach noon with temperatures creeping up towards the low 60s. But we're not done yet. As we approach the later afternoon, that's when temperatures are going to level out to the warmest part that they should today. That's those low 70s. That's only the beginning of what this week is going to look like. As far as rain chances go, not really much in the way first part of the week we are seeing a slight chance on Friday but really nothing to be concerned about just very slight chance and it's looking like a pretty dry week what does it look like on the stormcast well here's those clouds that we saw they're going to work their way out as we progress through the afternoon today now over the course of the first few days of this week we might see some clouds work through but honestly folks it's going to be pretty clear when you look up in the sky you're not really going to see all that much and it's pretty hard to believe that we're going to be in October when it's looking like it does out there. A lot of blue skies and temperatures pretty comfortable. Here's a look at the forecast high temperatures for the Willamette Valley the next few days. Now take a look at this upper 70s on Tuesday. Now, honestly, that's just the start. It's pretty level. I did say we are tracking a possible slight chance of rain on Friday. Now we're going to see things cool down a little bit, but still the upper 60s. It's really not all that cold. It's I mean, look at that. Like I said, pretty level across the board. It's going to be nice and that's why I'm giving for this week the activity forecast green because I'll tell you what we're getting to that time of year where we're not going to be outside all that much anymore as that rain and stuff is really going to start to work in. It's not there yet though so take advantage of this awesome weather while you can because it's going to be a good one and I'll tell you what that's reflected in the seven day. Taking a look at the coast a whole lot of sunshine is what we're tracking this week with pretty comfortable temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Now we might see some clouds work their way in in the back half of the week, but it's still going to be nice. You're still going to be seeing quite a bit of sun down there in the Umpqua Basin. It's the same story. Temperatures just a little warmer. Upper end of the 70s, lower 80s. Tuesday being the warmest day that we're tracking right now, uh, but it's going to be a beautiful week down there. Over the Cascade Passes, much of the same. A whole lot of sunshine, pretty comfortable temperatures. Tuesday we're still eyeing as that warmest day of the week. And in the Willamette Valley, same story as everywhere else. The story across the region is a lot of sun. There's on the seven day, I put that slight chance that we're tracking, but really, I don't think it's taken away from all that sun this week. It's uh, going to be a beautiful one with pretty comfortable temperatures. And now, 